What's going on everybody? This your boy Mike from Wicked Ink and it's Monday. Everybody hates Mondays. Mondays suck. Can't wait till Friday. But hopefully this video will get you through your day a little bit better. And basically this is going to be my Batman Arkham Knight game review. Now I will say before going into this, if you have not, it's it, this is a trilogy. So if you have not played Arkham Asylum or Arkham City, well really if you haven't played Arkham City, you're going to be kind of just a little lost you know while in the beginning while playing it but i mean it doesn't affect the story too much so you can still play it without playing the other ones but you are going to be kind of like what the hell so it is a trilogy and i will say they did an amazing job with this um the graphics are are badass this is going to be a non-spoiler review i'm not going to really talk about the story too much because i want you guys to play it so Basically, uh, they give you more mechanics in this game. Uh, you get, like, everything you have from Arkham City, you have in this one, but, like, enhanced. Um, like, you got more moves, there's more combos, there's more upgrades, and there's, you know, more upgrades with the Batmobile. And I want to talk about the Batmobile for a minute because, basically, the you use it a lot more in this one. And... I heard a lot of people vision about it. People were butthurt that you had to use the Batmobile for this. And you, you do have to use the Batmobile for certain missions and, you know what I'm saying, for other things. You don't have to use it, you know, like 50, 60% of the game or nothing like that. I still grapple everywhere like I did in Arkham City. I mean, I use the car sometimes going from place to place every once in a while. But most of the time, I just grapple. But um, basically... You use you hit, it, there's situations in here where you have to use the car for certain things and there's a lot of tanks and stuff that you have to fight with the car the car is more armored in this one so got more you know artillery on it so I mean, you do have to use the car a lot more in this game a lot of people didn't like that they were pissed off I heard them all over Facebook talking about well, I'm just gonna go play Grand Theft Auto if I'm gonna drive around everywhere. You go play Grand Theft Auto, but I can guarantee you that there's not a car one in Grand Theft Auto that handles like this beast here. Just saying. As I said though, the storyline is amazing. They did they did a awesome job at like ending the trilogy. If this is really the end of it, you know what I mean. But like I, I'll give an example. Like the boss fight, one of the boss fights. That there aren't very many, but one of the boss fights. You have to use the car. Like, you can't get out of the Batmobile. Again, that pissed a lot of people off. But, I mean, it was fun for what it was. I like playing it. You know what I mean? I, I, I play all kinds of different games. And I, I really like this one. They did a really good job, I believe. I stated in my previous videos that I'm more of a Marvel fan. I've never really been a real big Batman or Superman fan. So, for me to like this game and to like Arkham City and an Arkham Asylum, you know what I'm saying? That... That proves that they did well with it. Because uh, I'm not really a big Batman fan. And I loved it. Like, I'm still playing Batman. I beat the storyline. But there's a lot of stuff in that game, man. Like, you really... I'm not too sure if the DLC is really worth the money you pay for it. But the game itself, if you get, you know, the $60 game... In my opinion, it's well worth it. Like, this... You know, I'm still playing it. I've already beat the storyline. And there's, like, tons of missions you can do. If you pre-ordered it like I did, you got the Harley Quinn story pack. I've already played that. It, that was pretty fun. It didn't last very long. Um, the Red Hood pack isn't very long either. But they're fun to play. They're fun to, you know, just mess around with when you've already beaten the game. Also, if you pre-ordered it, you got different suits for Batman, which was pretty cool. Because you got, like, a red and black one that made his, like, eyes glow red, which was pretty cool. Um, so, I mean, I, you know, I pre-ordered it just because of the story, or the Harley Quinn story pack, honestly. If you want me to be completely honest, that's why I wanted the pre-order version to get that. Like I said, I'm still playing it. I'm not done with it yet. Um, I haven't gotten, I think I'm at like 78% through the whole game in, you know, in its entirety. Uh, I, like I said, I've already beat the story mode. I'm just doing all the side missions now. But I did hear that there is a secret ending when you, you know, complete the game 100% so I'm working on that and trying to get that out there um when I when I when I finally get the the secret ending 
I may throw it up on YouTube. I may not. I don't know. it. You know, like I said, this was a spoiler-free review, so I can't really talk much about the game without spoiling anything. You do have to go around and capture certain crim criminals on the side missions and stuff, but, but I mean, you can do that after you get done beating the game. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I do is I'll go through the game first and then and then do all the extra stuff. But the Scarecrow missions was really cool. You got to be in your car for that one too. Um, still, I mean, it, it makes the experience something different than what we've had, even though a lot of people might not like it. In all reality, you have about, I would say, three big villains in this game. And just the, the, the way that they played it, the way that they worked it, it's like with you going... I can't, I can't really talk about it, man, without, because this is spoiler free, but just the way it's played and the interaction you have with a certain other person throughout the game makes it really interesting, but also makes it kind of like, what the hell, if you haven't played um, Arkham City. So, they, I hope soon, maybe one day, that they will release... Asylum and City on one CD for the PS4 so we can grab it. Even if they do it on, you know, multiple CDs, if they re-release it, I will probably buy it just because I love those games. But this game, I'm going to go ahead and give it a 8.5 rating just because I enjoyed it so much. I spent a lot of hours on the game. Um, I was stuck on Dying Light for a while, but, like, when this came out, I was all about it. So I've been playing this. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Um... If you haven't seen my trailer breakdown and predictions for Suicide Squad, the trailer that we've seen at Comic -Con, San Diego Comic Con, uh, if you're on mobile, it should be popping up up top. You can just click on it there. If you're on PC, I will have a link in the description and also a annotation at the end of this video for you to click on that and go and check that out too. So. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will holler at you guys later.